Hi folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans and today one of my subscribers, Anthony Garcia, sent me this image uh, and this is from Disney Plus and it talks about the most streamed animated shows on Disney Plus worldwide which I found interesting. There's also an American one. It's pretty similar. I don't want to go over that one. I want to see what people are watching worldwide. So it's like not just America, Canada, where I am, you know, a uh, place. A, a lot of my viewers are from America, Canada, uh, Australia, or the Philippines. That's where most of my uh, YouTube audience is. So I thought, hey, let's, uh, as a collective, let's go through these, see if there's anything interesting here, and uh, just talk about it. So. The number one most, you know, watched thing worldwide is The Simpsons. And um, I guess that Fox acquisition paid off because there's actually a good handful of Fox-related stuff. Literally the number one and the number two things on this platform uh, worldwide are from the Fox acquisition, Family Guy, and The Simpsons. It's uh, pretty bananas. So I think the Fox acquisition was actually a good thing in the long run. Even though Disney had to take out a little bit of debt to acquire all of that stuff. Um, I'm not, I honestly, I'm not a fan of what they've done with some of the properties like Home Alone. They had that Home Alone, what was it called? Home Sweet Home Alone with that little British kid. God, get that shit out of here. That movie was garbage. Okay. Um, but yeah, I am not a big fan of what Disney has done with some of the properties, but, uh, for the most part, Simpsons has been mostly unchanged, and so is Family Guy. Uh, so it's been uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> it's been okay for us as the viewers, and I'm sure Disney now seeing how uh, how powerful the franchise that Fo uh, the franchises that Fox owned uh, just brought in so much money. You guys can only imagine how much revenue they're making off of the the merchandise, right? Like Simpsons merchandise and Family Guy merch. And uh, a whole bunch of other stuff on here. So The Simpsons is number one, uh, you know, and it, it's still going strong. Simpsons Mania still got. When I was born in the '90s, you know, '93, I grew up in the Simpsons Mania, and it's still somehow going strong. Uh, don't ask me to explain it, but uh, The Simpsons are just the king still. Uh, and in second place, like I mentioned, Family Guy. I personally now it's great to see American Dad actually on here. Uh, I personally, in recent years, back in the day, I used to think Family Guy, uh, I, I do still like Family Guy more than The Simpsons. The Simpsons modern day is just so boring. Uh, meanwhile, Family Guy at least gets a laugh out of me. You know, a modern day Family Guy, I don't like it, but it gets a laugh out of me. And I, I do enjoy that. I really enjoy that. Uh, whenever I laugh, it's always a good sign. Uh, but I think South Park is the king. I think when it comes to laughter, I get the most laughs out of South Park. Just one of my favorite shows. Although The Streaming Wars Part 2 was not particularly good. Uh, a, a, a bit of a letdown, a bit of a disappointment. Uh, but Streaming Wars Part 1 was actually very solid. Uh, I've said this before. I even did a review of both of them. So yeah, uh, you guys know my opinions if you've been with this channel. Uh, so Family Guy, I like it. I just don't love it like I used to. And I do think modern day, uh, it's so weird. American dad, like aged, like a fine wine. It, it, it got better over time. Uh, honest to God, like all of the characters, except for like Haley, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, most of, but you know what they did? The writers did. They actually married Haley to Jeff. So whenever she's being like an insufferable character, you know, like Lisa on The Simpsons, Lisa doesn't have a boyfriend to like save her. Lisa doesn't have like a husband. They actually gave Haley Jeff, which is a very funny character that kind of balances Haley out. And so she becomes more likable just because she has that character to play off. Whereas Family Guy, Lois and Meg can sometimes just be very, very obnoxious. Also Marge from Simpsons can be obnoxious too. Um, but I, I really feel they barely ever do anything with Meg and, uh, even Chris too. These days, Chris barely does anything himself. And, uh, Lois sometimes has very obnoxious and annoying episodes, but, uh, I really like American dad. Like where's the weak spot? Like all the characters, Roger is the best. Stan is amazing. You know, like, uh, Steve has his episodes. I, I think Steve is one of the more solid and underrated characters of the show. Um, even Francie, for they actually made a likable, I don't like Marge, 
I don't like Lois, but Francine, they actually did her character so well. She is the only like housewife out of all the main characters that I actually like here. Um, even on South Park, they struggle with it, right? Like uh, Randy's wife, Sharon, she's not very, not very funny, not very likable, m mostly a very quiet and silent character. Even like Cartman's mom, you know, most of these characters, they're very silent. They're not, not the funniest, uh, but Francine, man, she gets the job done. What a great character, well-written character. Uh, so that's where I stand on Family Guy and American Dad. As for Bluey, I honestly, I've never seen it. I just, <laughs> I don't, uh, some kind of little show with dogs going on here. Um, I, I just, I don't know what the hell Bluey is. Is this like even on in Canada? I, <laughs> I don't reckon, like I've heard of Bluey. I just don't know it. So I can't really say much, but apparently it must be popular with the kids. Must be popular with the kids. Uh, and the next one, um, very popular. The kids love Spider-Man. Let's be real. Which one of us didn't have a Spider-Man toy growing up, you know? Uh, especially if you're a boy. Maybe the girls didn't. But uh, if you're a boy out there, you probably had a Spider-Man or something. Or at least a video game. Uh, and yeah, so Spidey. What is it? Say? Oh, it's so small. It's so hard to see it. Uh, Spidey's Amazing Friends. Yes. Uh, so I've never seen that either. It looks like it's aimed at younger children. They're all little chibi versions where they're tiny and short. Uh, it definitely aimed at children. Definitely aimed at children. Uh, Marvel's What If. Another show. I never... Guys, I'll be honest. I've been saying it a lot recently. I just never... Ever since Endgame, I, I can't get into these movies anymore. I, I, do I have superhero fatigue? I might have superhero fatigue. Um, but actually, I think I just have... Marvel fatigue, uh, because if something like invisible that now Amazon, um, is it Amazon prime, uh, or what Amazon prime video, they had invincible, which was, uh, the character with the yellow and blue shirt, you know, Mark Grayson, uh, and his dad was Omni man. That was such a great little story there. You know, uh, I really enjoyed that. I had never seen, uh, like I've, I knew the comic existed. I knew Invincible existed. I never read it though. I, I gotta be honest. I just never read it. And once I saw that show, I was like, wow, this was great. I could understand why this was doing so well in the comic book industry because, uh, yeah, it really was a great story. I enjoyed myself and I can't wait for more of that show, Invincible. Um, as for Marvel's What If, I'm just like, what if, uh, I don't watch it? <laughs> Uh, yeah, what if I just don't watch it? How about that, huh? Uh, so yeah, Marvel's What If. Shocked to see it this high? But, uh, I mean, there are a lot of Marvel fans. Literally the, why am I shocked to see it? Literally the one before this was Marvel's Spidey's, uh, what is it called? Spidey's Amazing Friend. Why is the font so tiny? Goddamn. Uh, so yeah, two Marvel things back to back. Uh, Gravity Falls, uh, this shocked me, after all this time, after all this time, now, I believe it recently was, uh, the 10 year anniversary for Gravity Falls, but, like, it doesn't surprise, even if it wasn't the anniversary of Gravity Falls, this still being here is wild, like, you know, um, the quality of the show was so great, if I was a kid, you know, I watched Gravity Falls, to, you know, I was basically out of school. I was out of high school at that point. But um, if I was a young kid, like a six, seven-year-old, I would have loved Gravity Falls. That would have been like one of my, I, I probably would have had more nostalgia. Like I love the show now. I would have been a super fan like I am of Ben 10. I'm just a, God damn, do I love my Ben 10. Because <laughs> I just grew up with the character, you know. If you guys watch Ben 10 from the day it released, like I did, it's like Ben starts as a 10 year old and I was around 10 and it's like, as you know, as the seasons go on, Ben like ages and then like he becomes a teenager and then I was a teenager and I'm like, Oh my God, Ben's growing up with me. And you know, as the series goes on and on and on, it's like, it's, it's so cool. You, you, I basically grew up alongside Ben 10 in a weird way. Um, you know, I, what, what did Ben 10, what does Ben 10 have like 10 seasons now <laughs> across all the shows? Not, not even counting the reboot. Um, it had a good, it was, it had been around for a long time, Ben 10. And, um, I, I know I would have been a super fan of gravity falls. If I watched that in my childhood, what a great show. If you have not seen gravity falls and this is your first time watching my channel, you need to go watch gravity falls. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's one of the greatest cartoons like ever made. I would give it a 9 or a straight up 10 out of 10. I just loved it. 
Uh, it didn't overstay its welcome. When they ended it early, I was a little bit sad, uh, but I think they left it in such a great place. People used to say back in the day, if SpongeBob SquarePants ended at like season three or four, it would be noted down as one of the greatest shows ever made. Same thing with Fairly Odd Parents. First four, four or five seasons of Fairly Odd Parents, right up until the point where they brought in Poof, gr- one of the greatest cartoons of all time. Unfortunately, they kept going. They started to add garbage like Sparky and Chloe. And uh, wait, I'm forgetting one, aren't I? Did they add another character? Uh, well, Foop. I actually enjoyed Foop uh, when they brought Foop in. Um, there was also one episode where they had anti Sparky. But um, Fairly Odd Parents did this gimmick where they try to bring in these new characters. Meanwhile, fan favorite characters like Chester, AJ, Elmer. You know, Sanjay, what happened to the gang? What happened to the boys? You know, they, they kind of just disappeared out of the show. And they started making all the episodes about Crocker and Timmy's dad towards the seasons uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, and then 10, they do a pivot to Chloe. And I just was not a fan. Um, so, honestly, <laughs> go watch Gravity Falls. It, it, it remains, because it ended so young, unlike Fairly Odd Parents and some of these other shows... It, it ended up getting that uh, special spice where it ended at a perfect time, didn't overstay its welcome, and it's viewed as a masterpiece. Great to see it. Um, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, a show I watched when I was younger. So, holy shit, has this been around uh, the block? Uh, this is the show, I'm pretty sure, where it's like, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Uh, yeah, I've been around. <laughs> like that, This is a transcending classic, it looks like. I don't know if they rebooted the show. Is this the reboot or is this the original Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? Because uh, I did enjoy that uh, that theme song of that old show there. Um, and then Bob's Burgers. So Bob's Burgers, the movie, came out in May. Uh, so maybe it, it is a show aimed at adults like The Simpsons and uh, Family Guy. It has the nuclear family type of structure where we have like, you know, two parents, boy, girl. Right, and sometimes they throw in a baby. Um, Bob's Burgers actually doesn't have the baby; they just have three uh, younger kids. Louise is, I, well, she's not really a baby. She's just <laughs> actually Louise is probably the best character on the whole show. Let's be real, uh, except for Bob. Bob, maybe Bob is ah, uh, Bob or Louise. One of those two is the best. But um, I do like Bob's Burgers like a little bit, but. <laughs> I just, listen, I quit the show after, like, was it th- season three? I just got bored of it. Like, I like the characters. I like the, the story. I love the idea that they're in a restaurant. I like that. I like seeing the small, you know, slice of life, kind of like, here's the restaurant setting. We can make a lot of burger jokes and, you know, all kinds of wacky things here. But, like... I don't know, guy. I it just put me to sleep. This show, it just put me. Some people really like it. I I understand that. I like it wouldn't be number eight worldwide. Uh, and again, it did recently have a movie that could have boosted the numbers up recently. Uh, but um, yeah, I <laughs> I I like the idea of Bob's Burgers. I just didn't like the execution because it put me to sleep. Uh, it, it's a, it's a style of comedy. If you, if you don't like the style, you might not like the show, but, uh, moving on, I think Bob's Burgers, you know, and there's a reason they got a movie, right? It, they, they wouldn't have got a movie if it wasn't a successful franchise. So it's a very successful franchise. I've been undercutting this. Uh, Bob's Burgers is successful. I, it's just not my cup of tea. I, I've never been a fan of slice of life. I gotta be honest. Um, and moving on, we have that garbage Baymax thing with the fucking transgenders and the, oh my God, getting a tampon. What the fuck is this garbage? Uh, uh, this is number nine now. Uh, you know, a year from now, there's no shot that Baymax is going to be on here unless they make new episodes for it. But like, I I don't, I I literally don't understand what this is doing here. Uh, people should not watch this dog shit. (laughs) Uh, do not let your children watch this dog shit folks. Uh, I, I just really do not recommend it. Disney has been promoting uh, a lot of, uh, woke garbage into their, or not, not promoting. They've been injecting. That's an even better word. A lot of their woke bullshit politics into their shit like this show here, Baymax. And, uh, it seems it comes off as a nice little, uh, show with a robot, but, uh, 
No, 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 no. <laughs> we know what Disney's all about these days. It's all about the politics, all about the agenda. I'm having none of Baymax. I, I still, I refuse to watch it ever. Um, and then th now this was a great one. Ice Age, um, was it Sc uh, Scrat Tales? Scrat Tales. I seen every episode. There's only six episodes of this one, and um, Blue Sky Studio. I actually did a review of it when it came out at the time. Uh, Blue Sky Studios, this was their last hurrah, and they actually made a private little, like, video where Scrat actually gets the acorn, because the whole Ice Age movies, he was always chasing after that damn acorn, and, um, yeah, they gave him, they rewarded him, they rewarded him after all that time, but, uh, Ice Age Scrat Tales, I liked it, they brought in a tiny little squirrel, like a, a little Scrat, a baby Scrat, you know, it's kind of like Baby Yoda, they went for a baby Scrat here, and, um, they had a great banter together. They, you know, they were chasing down the nut. Literally, at one point, they're they're like literally trying to kill each other, faking their own deaths just to get the acorn. It escalates. It definitely escalate, escalates. Escalates. Uh, it told a little bit of, even though they were short episodes, told a bit of a story between each one, where we see them become closer and closer, and then uh, I guess we see them drift apart towards the end there. But. Um, I, I thought it was great. I thought it was a, a great little series, a great send off for Blue Skies. Uh, even though I'd rather Blue Skies stick around, to be honest. But uh, you know, I can't complain. Ice Age was a big part of my child. Oh, I don't want to say a big part. Why do I always say a big part? Ice Age was part of my childhood. Uh, just one of those great films. I I think I actually was. Did this come out in two before two thousand five? Uh, I wonder if I was a lot. My dad was alive when uh, this came out. He, he probably was he uh, Ice Age. When did I say Ice Age? Um, uh, Two thousand. So yeah, I did watch this with my dad then. Uh, so pretty awesome. Uh, it's one of those shows, right? Or, um, <laughs> shows. It's one of those movies that really uh, you remember. Unfortunately, they what they really milked it. It was a very successful friend. They milked it dry, right? They milked it dry. Then it was like Ice Age 2, 3, 4, I don't know, fucking Dawn of the Dinosaurs like two separate times. I, <laughs> I don't even know what happened with Ice Age, man. They just, they, they ran it into the ground and the animation gets worse and worse. And uh, <laughs> the newest one, the new movie has like god awful animation. And uh, yeah, I, it's a shame what happened to Blue Sky and Ice Age. But uh, what can you do, folks? What can you do? Um, the next one we have is... Is that does that say Mickey Mouse Fun House? Is that like a, a weird spinoff of the club? <laughs> uh, I have not heard of this one. I did not know this existed. Um, but uh, interesting enough, wow! So Mickey, their own mascot, their own mascot, Mickey Mouse, the man himself, shows up to battle, folks. He shows up to battle with two shows, and uh, that is not bad at all. Um, the next one we got here is American Dad. And like I already talked about it with Family Guy. I compared them. I told you guys my thoughts. I just, I really enjoy modern day American Dad. The characters overall are just better than what they have on Family Guy. Just better plots, better stories. Like, I, I sure, is it as funny as, fa like, it, it, even though it might not have as many, you know, gags and flashbacks and things, um, American Dad just does it right, you know, like, they, they go for the more subtle uh, kind of humor, as opposed to, like, Family Guy, let's do a cutaway, and, you know, <laughs> let's find out what Brian shoved up his ass this time, everybody, you know, <laughs> oh my god, you know what I'm talking about, like, they, they do these stupid-ass cutaways that are just gibberish, and uh, I do like the, the humor style of American Dad and the characters, so... Um, this being number 12 is very acceptable to me. Great stuff. Um, uh, 12 out of 20. Did I mention that? This is the top 20. Uh, did, I, did I actually forget to say that? Yeah. So Simpsons is one. And then, you know, here's the whole list. And then uh, American Dad is 12 out of 20, which is worldwide, mind you. Worldwide. Great to see it. I, I always get scared. Like, I'm like, are people still watching American Dad? And this reassures me. This I don't want this show to get canceled. I really don't. I really enjoy American Dad. And um, the next show, on the other hand, um, I don't, either way, uh, like, I think a lot of people really enjoy this reboot. I did see the first episode. You guys convinced me to watch it. Uh, I did not see the whole season. But um, from my understanding, they aged up Penny. 
so some of you guys were explaining Gabe. His name was Gabe, one of my subscribers. He was explaining to something to me where the end of the Proud family, like Penny gets aged up and there's a movie or something. And then now in this reboot, Penny re-ages or it's unsure what age she is or I, I don't know what the hell the situation is with this, but um, I did see the first episode and yeah, it literally starts out like magically overnight. Penny experiences puberty and <laughs> uh, well, at least Oscar and Sugar Mama are still like, they, they sound similar basically and look similar to exactly what they were on the original Proud Family when I was a kid. So, uh, and I, I did enjoy the Proud Family as a kid. Uh, but like I said, Oscar and Sugar Mama, if this show, like if, if Sugar Mama got killed off, this show would suck. Uh, it's literally all about that Sugar Mama Oscar action, man. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, well, those are just my two favorite characters anyway. But, um, I, I think this, the reboot looks solid. You guys all seem to like it. Uh, but you know, if the show got canceled, like, to, like after a season or two more, I, I wouldn't be the most, like, I, it's not a show I would be sad to see go. Same thing with Bob's, Bur like, if Bob's Burgers got canceled, I'd be like, yeah, it's sad, but, like, I wasn't really watching it, so. <laughs> Whereas, like, American Dad, or, like, uh, well, I still technically watch The Simpsons, but, uh, you know, American, what, what am I even still watching here? I guess Family Guy and this, yeah, just only three, these three, The Simpsons, Family Guy, and American Dad, so far, uh, out of the ones we covered. Um. Well, because Scrat Tales is finished, but, uh, yeah, it's just like, if the Proud Family got canceled, I'd just be like, ah, all right, all right, you know, it's, it's sad, but it happened, you know, uh, same thing with Bob's Burgers, sad, but it happened, and, uh, I, that's all I have to say on Proud Family, I, I hear it's good, you know, uh, it, apparently you guys said it, it leaves on a good place, right, uh, where the season ends, uh, cause I only saw the first episode, but I think you guys, um, I'll take your word that it, it was a good season, right? Uh, you guys told me multiple times, actually, that it was a good season. And, um, you know, hopefully you guys got a few more seasons and it doesn't get canceled. But I won't be sad if it does. Moving right on to Spy X Family. This is another show I've heard is really good. I just never, I've not even seen one episode. At least I saw the first episode of The Proud Family. This one, I, I've heard so many good things about it and I have not seen it. Uh, so I do apologize for that. Um, but, uh, is it an anime? It looks like an anime. I, I swear it was like an, is it an anime? Let me just double check spy. Uh, cause I know Disney plus also like has Pokemon on it. Uh, family anime. Is it an anime? Uh, is an oddball tonal mashup that blends action packed and high sticks, but is it an anime? Uh, is an anime adaptation. Oh, so it, it, it literally is an anime then. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's an anime. All right. So uh, what is it? What is it about again? Spy? Uh, so Spike's family, uh, hold on. What is this about? <laughs> uh, spy X family is a story that follows a spy who has to build a family to execute a mission, not realizing that the girl he adopts as his daughter is a telepath. Oh, that sounds really cool. Uh, and the woman he agrees to be in a marriage with is a skilled assassin. Oh, <laughs> okay. I like the, the plot of this sounds better than like everything else Disney has going on these days. Um, that sounds cool. Maybe I actually have to check that one out. That sounds really good. What the hell? Um, this next one though, I have never heard of this. What the hell? T Tots? Is that, what is this? I have to look this up. What the fuck? Tots. Uh, Disney? Tots Disney. What is this? What the fuck? Is this in Canada? Like, I, I don't know. I've never heard of this. Uh, Tiny Ones Transport Service. So it's literally like that. Um, oh, my God. What's the show with the dog? The sh uh, No, no, no. Uh, it was on the tip of my tongue. The Rescue Pets? Is that what they're called? No. Um, oh, I can't remember. Hold on. Uh, dog Toys. Uh, no, that's bad. Hold on. Dog Show. No, Pound Puppy? Is that Pound Puppies? Maybe that's what it was. Let me just see here. No, it's not Pound Puppy. <laughs> that was a show. When I watched that as a kid. It wasn't Pound Puppies. Um, oh, my God. His name is Dash uh, Dash Puppies? Is that what uh, 
toy. Let's see. I think the main character's name was like Dash or something, right? Okay, hold on. Um, animal kids show dog. Let's, let's We got to find it. What's the name of that stupid? No, there's Bluey. Okay, this is the Bluey thing. What is the name of that? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. They're, they like rescue people. They like, re oh, what is the name of it? Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Uh, Chase, that's his name. Sorry, what did I say his name was earlier? Paw Patrol. God damn. How could I not remember this? Paw Patrol. Okay. So this is like some kind of weird, this, um, whatever that show was, Tots. That shit is like some weird <laughs> Paw Patrol thing. Okay, so Disney's making their own Paw Patrol. I, I've never seen it, and I never intend to. i got to be real. And then we got the uh, – look at this, folks. Bender. Just Futurama. It's here. Bam. Uh, and Hulu is going to be getting uh, new episodes of Futurama, which is going to be amazing. Um, it's weird that, like, Futurama, after all this time, is still number 16 worldwide. That's legendary. Futurama is one of my favorite shows of all time. I think it's better than The Simpsons. I think it's better than Family Guy, Bob's Burgers, and American Dad. It is it is that good. Uh, I, I actually put South Park as my number one and Futurama as my number two uh, when it comes to these like family kind of adult comedy shows. So yeah, great to see Futurama lurking in the top 16 or top 20, I should say. Um, or <laughs> Well, it is in the 16, but... Uh, when this show gets new seasons, I'm going to expect this to boost up. Uh, people are going to want to go back, uh, get Disney Plus, rewatch all the old seasons, then move over to Hulu and watch the new seasons. So great stuff. Love to see Futurama, and I'm hyped. And don't forget, John DiMaggio is returning as Bender. I did cover this. Um, there was some concerns from the fans that he wasn't coming back. He's coming back. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then we have... Fancy Nancy? Never heard. Some weird kids girl show. I, I don't know. Uh, the rest of these. Okay, no, I do know Big City Greens. Uh, Puppy Dog Pals. Puppy Dog Pals. Never heard of it. it. Again, it could be another Paw Patrol situation. And um, I've never seen it. Probably never going to see it. Then we have Big City Greens. I know about this one. I've at least seen a trailer or two. Um, I've... Look, I, I've seen, like, I know the show. I, it's another one of those, I know the show, i just never seen the show. And, um, very, you know, I don't like the show. It's, <laughs> uh, or no, wait, wait a minute. Did I see the, wait, I actually think I might have seen the first episode. Uh, I think I did actually, wait. Uh, or maybe I watched, like, the first, like, couple minutes and then I just said, nope, I'm quitting. Uh, I can't remember, but I remember this show being a very slice of life family show. And I said, I, I just don't care about this. Uh, also the characters are yellow. Very interesting to see like two different shows about families with yellow skin. Um, maybe there's a, a winning formula with having yellow families, uh, you know, with yellow skin, but, um, who knows, who knows? Uh, big city greens, uh, will it be there forever? Probably not. I think it'll eventually fall off. Um, especially once they get another big show, like, uh, I don't know, amphibia or something like that. If they get another kid's show, like gravity falls that where it's like, it has all these different like theories and, you know, action. Uh, I think big city greens will eventually fall off. Uh, I'm actually not even sure how the hell it managed to make it this high up. Well, it's, I'm not even sure how it managed to make it into the top 20, but there it is. Um, and then we have hit monkey, which is, I just have never seen. It looks like an anime, never seen it before, but, uh, it doesn't sound as exciting as that whole, uh, spy X family show. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'm going to watch that one. I kind of want to hear your guys feedback is hit monkey any good. Uh, let me know down below. Cause I'm just not familiar with it like at all. Uh, and yeah, if you guys disagreed with some of the things I said here, let me know down below. This was been the top 20. I covered them all. Gave you guys my thoughts. I, unfortunately, I I'm not the most knowledgeable on all of these, but, uh, some of the bigger hitters, I I've seen them and, uh, I at least had some good stuff. I mean, I got a half hour video out of it. All right. <laughs> But um, let me know if you disagreed with me. Let me know if you agreed with me anywhere. Um, what is there anything that you think should have been up here? Is there any shows maybe right now? Uh, maybe the Owl House. Should that have been up here somewhere? I, I don't know. 
Um, I, I personally don't watch it. I, I quit after the first episode, <laughs> which is a reoccurring trend with Disney these days uh, and me, my personal preferences. But um, yeah, were there any? There must be some other Disney shows I'm forgetting that might should be on here. Uh, some newer material. Is there anything like newer? Uh, I don't know, but uh, let me know if, if you think that there should have been something really cool up here that didn't make the cut. Uh, I want to hear what was it? What was the magical thing that didn't make it on here? And uh, let me know, please. And so that's going to be it. So thank you to Anthony Garcia for this interesting topic. I've never done this before. Uh, I do like to talk about, I always talk about news. It's so boring, right? Don't you guys want something fresh like this? A nice little half hour discussion video. Um, yeah, I think this was fun. I'd love to do something like this again. And, uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe it'll become like a re reoccurring trend where, uh, every couple quarters or something, I, I just do another re review of what's popular. Uh, but then b if the Simpsons keeps being the number one, then you guys are going to get bored of it. And <laughs> maybe, I don't know. It was great to do it this one time, I guess. Maybe in the future, a year from now, I'll do it again as a joke or something. I, I don't know. But uh, that's going to be it for me. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And why not watch an ad for your boy Sandro? Thank you so much, everybody. Peace out and bye bye